Hello, everyone. There's the height, bro. And now, Rockstar. Hello, everybody. Hello. And if you guys are ready, we'll get this started. Yeah. All right. Starting up the panel. And then, gonna hit the go live. We're going live in three, two, one. All right. Let me get the stream up on my phone. All righty. Yep. We are live. And with that, Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Q&A with the Height Buddy with my co-host, Rockstar. Hello, everyone. Rowdy Rockstar Productions in the house. And our special guest for today, the Height Bro. Hello. All right. Let's start off. Let's start it off. What got you into the Sonic franchise? What got me into Sonic was um, recently it was the IDW Comics. Uh, I remember seeing them float about uh, when I, while I was scrolling the internet, and uh, I took an interest because I saw um, Adam Bryce Thomas's uh, pages, the ones he did, which caught my eye because they looked uh, really well. They, re- they looked really good. So I took an interest, but I didn't actually start reading them until a good while later after I collected a few of them. Nice. And I can say that it spans way back into uh, into my childhood. I remember playing Sonic 2. But nice. I fell out with the franchise until then, thanks to a friend of mine who uh, kept notifying me of the comics. So eventually mm. I started reading them, and now I'm here. Nice. Nice. Do you have a question for him, Rockstar? Uh, yes, I do. Um, uh, what, what, what? Uh, what um inspired up oh, <laughs> excuse me i have a i've not started a problem excuse me uh um what inspired you into uh getting started into making sonic art once again it was the comics it was adam bryce thomas um i would say that i wasn't really taking it too seriously until may of last year um Ooh. when i saw one of his streams and i saw how he sketched and how quickly he did it and how uh detailed they were and i thought to myself Mm -hmm. i want to do that so i started to do that uh it became a a non-stop thing i would draw every day uh, studying looking at references going blind doing it again and then again and again every day for basically the entirety of may of last year to right now Jeez. Nice. I could say it was definitely worth it. Just look at the amazing art you've made in stories. Definitely. Like I've like, like I know like the past few months I've seen a lot of your uh uh with uh your uh with bangle artwork and I'm just like they are so adorable. They're just so adorable. Uh okay. Which brings me to my question on that. <sighs> Actually, I need to. Yeah, I forgot how I was going to quit. Yeah, it's this. Yeah. Oh, it, I can now remember. Okay. Uh, okay. What inspired you to actually make the West Bengal art, like the stories in between the two of them? I couldn't give you a really solid answer as to why. <laughs> I guess I just saw a couple panels, thought, screw it. I'll latch on to a few characters, which happened to be them, and I just started drawing. If I could draw them, I could draw everyone else. That's what the mentality was at the time. And for the most part, it's held true. Nice. Hey, right, that's that 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 that, that, that makes total, total absolute sense, which I'm glad you did because look at that because it's it's adorable. It's adorable. It is. Alrighty. Uh now for now for my next question. Um what is your favorite art piece that you have made? Like which one are you the most proud of? I would have to say that would be the uh the god line that I created a little bit of ago with the sun and moon goddesses as well as the goddess of the stars purely because it was experimentation that were originally just going to be mere sketches and nothing else. I decided to uh, just lock in for particularly no reason. They turned out pretty well. Someone even made a phone case out of them, which is pretty neat. Nice. So, 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 so I made a phone case out of it? Yes, of Tango, Whisper, and Whistle, the fusion that I've created. 
if, he, if, if people st- oh, sorry go ahead no go ahead and then i'm gonna ask the question okay i was gonna say like if, if people start 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 making like uh if people start making like somewhat merchandise of your artwork that just shows that, you, that just shows your, your your art is a masterpiece agreed and Alrighty, funny, Chris, go you, ahead. funny how you bring up the with uh, the the future and the fusion of tangle and whisper how hard was it to design that I've seen two different variants of the design. How hard was it for you? Um, it was mostly just a random thought I had that I decided to doodle down. It didn't take me that long, probably like 30 minutes at the time. People liked it, so I continued to draw them. And now they're one of the main rosters, I suppose. Now that's impressive. Extremely impressive. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sold. Same. You okay. Got any more questions? Oh, sorry. Shall we move? No, that's when you get any more questions, or shall we move on to the audience? I I have a few more questions. Yeah. Um. Go right ahead. Um. Okay. Your fa- your favorite Sonic characters and why? Well, I do believe that is a bit of an obvious question. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of obvious. To, 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 to be honest, when I think about it, yeah, it is obvious. <laughs> but for the. <laughs> But aside for, from the two of them, aside but, but, from but, the but, two but, of them, <laughs> but, but 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 for the sake of the people who don't know, uh, who, who are your favorites? That would of course be Tangle and Whisper that appear very often in my art, uh, <laughs> most because it's standalone. They are very in-depth characters that I enjoy, and together they just make a cool duo. They Maybe. really do. They show that a lot in the IDW comics, and you definitely show it a lot in your comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a, like, like a, like a, the bonding that the, the, the bonding that that you uh, put into these in those two in your comics are just uh, it's just so adorable. Like I, I, I can't. Uh, Didn't agree more on that one. Yeah. Um. What are the tools that you use to, to, to draw? Like, uh, what, what like software do you use to, to, to make, your, make your artwork? I use Clip Studio Paint EX. I use a very large variety of pens that I often download from the asset store. But I also got some brushes from Adam himself that I often use. Wait, from the Adam Bryce? From Yes. From Whoa. the Adam Price, I have acquired some pens that he was willing to give me. Now that just shows a lot of dedication right there, especially to get something like that. That's, ama- that's amazing, actually. It's more psychological for me. If I know that I'm using a brush that someone else uses, like, f- for sure, it just uh, it gives me a bit of a boost, I would say. It's... Uh, I feel like it just makes my drawings a little more snappy or the like. Hey, it does. Every nah, day I see it in a lot of nice. your amazing artwork. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Although, although I, I want to ask, like, um, if, you, if you have your uh, Whisper and Tangle of Fusion artwork, is what you said, correct? What was that? You, you, you said you, you, said you uh, drew a, a Fusion of Tangle and Whisper, correct? That would be correct. Okay. Um, if you if you have that, uh, do do you want do you want to do you want to show it in the Sonic R show discussion? Uh, sure. Alrighty. One moment. I send it where? <laughs> in the, in uh, the Sonic Sonic R show dis- discussion. Discussion. Yeah, uh, uh, where uh, Kevin uh, attacked you. One moment, please. Take your time. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can try to help find the picture as well. Come again, Chris. Nothing. I uh, hope they try to get the picture as well, just in case. Alrighty, alrighty. Yeah, I'm on there. Up, up there. Uh, there you uh, go. Uh, oh, oh, I think Dino found it. Thank you, Dino. Wait, wait, wait <laughs> is that is 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 that is that is is that um, is that the one? Is that the one? That is the yeah, one. That's one of them. Oh. Oh my gosh, that is that is amazing, and and she's doing and she's doing the uh the, the JoJo pose, and here's more of them. There you go. Oh my goodness, many of them like are the very old. Oh my god, I I like the last one. I really like the last one. I really like the last one. I Even really like the the wear form for the fusion. It looks really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, 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 
the, the, the waveform is, is beautiful. And, and, and yes, what, what Radar said, goddess. That was the theme that I was going for. And it came out perfect. Definitely perfect. Let me tell you something. That's not just artwork hyped. That is cinema. Agreed. <laughs> I do have one more question before we move on to the audience. What, and this is one thing I've still been wondering about this character. What inspired Aiden the hair? Good question. Nothing. Wait, really? Nothing? He sort of just popped into my head one day. So I decided to draw him down. And then eventually he became what he is now. Um, he went through uh, many iterations. Uh, the very first post that I made of him uh, was July 24th. That is his birthday that I would say. And um, he was supposed to be initially, as I expanded upon his idea, I initially wanted him to be a parody character of sorts. Right. Of, of the old... Uh, um, DeviantArt days where it was like this little man can defeat all the little mans you know parody yeah. of um, those edgy OCs that people would make but yeah, as I continued to draw him I started to like his design then other people started to like him so now it has become a challenge for myself that I decided to make um, to keep some portions of those of his initial inception intact, but also making him a nice and nuanced character that people can like. Oh, you already got me like them. <laughs> right, right, right. That is the main goal. Yeah, and it's wait. definitely working. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I got attacked. Let me sit. Hyped. You did not. You mm -hmm. did not. Oh, uh, the Splatoon one? <laughs> you drew Tango no. Whispers off the hook? I did. Dude. That is beautiful. That is actually beautiful. Dude, I'm the Dude, I'm the I am I'm immediately happy. I'm immediately happy. Like, dude, as a as a fellow Splatoon fan, I'm 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 happy. I'm I'm happy. I'm just I'm I'm just happy. I'm I'm just like that's just oh oh do do uh do you do you mind if I if I save this in my, in my files just so I can look look at it from time to time? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yes, y y y y yes, please, because oh my god, <laughs> this is beautiful. That's <laughs> and, nice. And, 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 uh, wait, don't tell me. Hold on. If I just hold on. If I just find this. If I just find this image. If I if I just if I if, if, if I if I just if I just find the image right, right here. Wait. Did you just did wait what? Did, did you did you did you just did you did you pose them ba based off the way they pose in, in Splatoon three side order like this? Yes. Hey yo, I'm already. Did y'all notice that? Did <laughs> y'all notice that? Hey, you just wow. posted the way how they did a Splatoon three side order. I'm 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 already happy. I am already happy. <laughs> I'm I'm I'm, 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 I'm ten 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 out of ten. No 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 fifteen. <laughs> 20, 40, right, 100, right, a million, right. a trillion, <laughs> quadrillion. I don't know if that's a number, but I don't care. Quadrillion. Oh, okay, calm down, man. All I'm right. sorry, but, 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 but as a fellow Splatoon fan, I am, I'm happy. And as someone who's a mega fan of, of, of Off the Hook. Yeah, look, I'm a Rotten Splatoon fan as well as the Off the Hook yeah, fan as well. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the audience question. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, bring yeah. up Kitty Cat. Maybe yeah. she can calm it down. <laughs> come on, come on up, bestie. <laughs> Rocky, Rocky, breathe, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> as soon as Get Dino posted it, yourself. I went nuts. It's it's okay. Get out of okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, Kitty Cat, um, what's your question? <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, hype, hyped bro. It the hyped buddy. I don't know what you what you want to be called, but still, so, dude, your your art, ten out of ten, amazing. Hello. Thank you. Okay, so my question is, what out of out of all the comics you 
out of all the small comics you've re- you've recently you've already made, what have you? What would you say is your favorite? Like, if you can't pick one, like top three or five. Mm, I would say none of them really register as a favorite for me. I am not too happy with how they look at the moment, and I would say that I need a lot more work to do in order to be more satisfied with how they look. Yeah, I'm sad. I'm satisfied with how they look. They look yeah. amazing. Yeah, <laughs> they look absolutely. They look absolutely stunning. For me, it's an it's an insatiable uh, hunger for improvement, for progress to be made, for my comics to really um stand out be stylized in the way that i want them to be and contend with the main comics themselves i can understand that uh, if you if you well if you could pick the ones that you most like if you at least most like then that's fine too mm. Mm. Uh, uh, already uh, uh already i i believe was i believe was was that your answer uh uh hype I was scrolling through my comics, but I don't know if I can say any of them are a favorite. Oh, okay. You got so many good ones, it's hard to choose. And be, being honest, a definite favorite of, my, favorite of mine is Aiden versus Surge. Definitely still had a lot of fun with that one. Heck yeah. I don't think I've seen it. No, I'll send it to you later after the panel. Alrighty. Anyways, thank you, Kit to Kit. Have a good day. Oh, so Rocky, breathe. Please no think. promises. Thank you for your question. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Rockstar, go ahead and choose the next one. All righty. Um, all right. Uh, uh, all righty. Uh, we called up my first bestie. I'll call up my other one. Come on up, Lila. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? Hello, Frank's there. We're doing good. Hello. Hello. It's super nice to meet you. Hi. So my question is, uh, which one, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading the chat while I'm doing this. Um, which character is the hardest for you to draw in those comics? Mm. Like to many keep on model and everything. Many characters I find um, challenging, but the most that I find challenging would either be Sonic himself or Eggman, the main duo. Uh, which for me would be the most challenging Eggman because he is, well, he's Eggman. Sonic for the quills. Or it would be Starline. Oh my gosh, nice. Starline because because of his bill. Bird Mobians in general are hard to draw. Uh, Platypus Bill, I find the most challenging uh, because of the angle that it's usually at. Mm-hmm. Especially so, in 2D, so. Many references yeah. are needed to draw him. Cool. <laughs> but I I'm glad that, oh, I was, was going to say, I'm glad that you persevere and keep going. Anyways, uh, thank you for answering my question, Hyped. It was a pleasure. Bye, thank guys. you, friend. Have a good rest of your day, Lila. Uh, I, 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 and hey, uh, before we call another audience member, uh, is it okay if I if I ask another question, Chris? Go right ahead. Alrighty. Uh, um, outside of Sonic, are there any more of uh, uh, gaming franchises you're 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 into? There are many. There's Monster Hunter. There is uh, recently Guilty Gear that I have been playing. Um, as well as that, there is also Doom and Doom like games, Dark Souls, and games like. Um, VR games that I play often, like uh, Pavlov or the Bone Lab. Never heard games of that one. Such as, uh, Interesting. Hell Divers, Deep Rock, amongst others that are of similar vein. Okay. Uh, 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 lo- 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 looks like you made Dino Kaiju happy by saying Monster Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite monster from Monster Hunter is the Bracadios. <laughs> Sorry, throw that out there. Yeah. Uh, wait, this, this, this does ask me, um, are you into, into the Splatoon franchise? Yes, I have. Uh, I have played Splatoon. I have played Splatoon 3, just uh, not too recently, but I do have a Switch next to me. Nice. I still need to get your side order. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Chris? Yes? I think it's best you call Madonna's man before my inner Splatoon fan starts to squeal. Bonk. Hey! I said, I said pick an audience member, not balk me! Uh, anyways, I'm gonna do that as well. Let's bring up, let's bring up Dino Kaiju. Ah, uh, yes, speak, speak, yes, yeah, speaking of which. Hello, everyone! Hello. All right, great, great seeing you. P- pleasure meeting you, Hyde and Rockstar. Chris, great seeing you too. Also, again, seeing Rockstar in another pan. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Dino, w- what's the question you have? All right. So, uh, I'm just going to say right off the bat, I am an absolute fan of your artwork. I Especially, obviously, the main, the main attraction mean the Tangle and Whisper artworks and all that stuff. So, anyway, my question. So... Uh, I do see in a, a lot of the art that you posted that you do um, not only obviously um, Sonic, but um, just regular Sonic art, but you also tend to do a bit of crossovers uh, here and there. Like uh, you did some for uh, like obviously the aforementioned um, Splatoon, which I may or may not have made Rockstar crazy over it. <laughs> uh, but Thank I also you. saw some. Sorry. Anyway, uh, but I also saw st- others. Don't, don't from, like, be. Ap- <laughs> uh, but I also saw uh, from uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, um, and I believe Apex. I believe I think it was Apex Legends as well, and even Spider Man and a few others here and there. So I had to ask: um, Are these like from franchises that you are more associated with, or are these like ones that you think that are fitting for stuff for uh, for specifically like Tangle and Whisper, or in a way Lanolin and other characters? Curious to know on on that. Many of the crossover artworks that I've created do come from experiences that I've had with them, as well as what I know about them. But many times they're just random thoughts that I've had while I was going about my day that I decided that I will turn into full sketches or illustrations. Um, there's not much to go about it. I know if there's a franchise that I know, uh, characters that I'm familiar with. Um, I often find uh, uh, characters that I associate with Tangle and Whisper, and I think, why not? Might as well draw them like that. So I do. Nice. Mm, I see. That's understandable. That one, one, one art piece specifically that just surprised that I just saw recently now is uh, one that you made Whisper and the Wisps as as symbiotes, like as if she's Venom. And I'm like, that is a surprise combination I did not expect. I tend to mesh ideas together um, or Whisper in that little Spider-Man uh, uh, project that I've made. I decided to combine many uh, different Marvel characters. By many, I mean about three, maybe mm-hmm. four. So, of course, that would be Mary Jane... Venom or Hybrid and um, Taskmaster. Ooh. Ooh. I assume this is because of the recent Spider-Man games? Nope. I kind of just thought about it. Ah, gotcha. That's understandable. But yeah, that, that's cool because I am like, it's like, it's a pretty obvious that Spider-Man is probably one of my favorite superheroes of all time, if not my favorite superhero franchise in general. All right. Okay. Now, if it, now if by any chance in the future we see some monster hunter for Tangle and Whisper, I might have some ideas. Like maybe, maybe Whisper would have like a light bow gun or heavy bow gun. I don't know. As for <laughs> Tangle, I don't know. Maybe hammer or or something else. Switch axe. I have no idea. It would be fun either way. That's really interesting. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, oh no, wait. Uh, Lanolin would be a hunting horn. Lanolin would be hunting horn. <laughs> I, 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 anyway. d- d- despite despite not knowing what Monster Hunter is, why do I see that as 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 a possibility? I think it's pretty obvious <laughs> if you see her wisp. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Dino. Pre- oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yes. I, 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 oh, sorry. I, I was just gonna say thank you for your question. That that was it. No. Nope. No problem. Have fun, everyone. All righty. Take you. care. <laughs> okay. Before we move on to the next uh, audience member, I do have another question. And it's in regards to the uh, image I posted uh, of Starline. What inspired that design of Kentobor? Kentobor was a character that I actually designed a, lo- a good while ago. 
he went by a different name. But when I fell into the Sonic fandom, I decided to repurpose him into Kintabar. Um, he is a he's a more softer natured man. Uh, many of his details can be found in places like Tumblr or even Artfight. Um, I would say that um, he was inspired by a character that I don't remember right now, but he was um, he was he was someone else before. Uh, Intobor or Sonic had an influence on him. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, nice, nice. Uh, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of uh, have a good. Have, 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 have a question good. too. Uh, uh, favorite, uh, f- f- favorite Sonic game you like to play? Um, I must admit something to you. What? Go ahead. I have not played many Sonic games. Oh, uh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, that that's okay, actually. That, 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 that's okay, because like, because like, see, we're you and I, we're we're kind of like, in, in, we're kind of like on the same boat, but but reversed. Like, uh, like you haven't played most of the Sonic games, and I haven't read most of the comics back then. So mm-hmm. it's like. So it's, so it's like no worries. Like you don't you don't have you don't you don't have to know every piece of media of Sonic media to be a Sonic fan. Exactly. I watched the cartoons when I was little. It's fine. <laughs> like, 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 hey, for like, hey, for me personally, like, like, Sonic Boom is literally how I got into the Sonic franchise. So here we are. <laughs> and here we are today. Well, yeah. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> I already picked Alrighty. one person before, so you can choose the next one. It's a my turn. <laughs> my, 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 my one out of ten Mario impression. Yay. Anyway, uh. Let's see here. Uh, we got two options here. Uh, Balt the Werehog. And there's the avatar and the artwork of Tingle and Wispa. Oh Hi. my gosh. Uh, oh, oh, also, uh, hello, Balt. Hi. All righty. So, uh, what is your question? All right. It's something really simple. Why is Aiden so adorable? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like that, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, I expected that. What? 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 I, 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 I think, I think the best answer to prop, the, I think the best, best way to answer that is, I quote the words from Lady Gaga: "I was born this way." Wait, yeah. was it was it Lady Gaga that said that? No uh, idea. Yes, I believe so. Yes. Okay, I got it right. So, so yeah, I think it's safe to say is that Aiden was adorable because he was born this way. I listened to that song recently. Anyway, was, was that your question, Bolt? Yep. All right. All right. Uh, uh, all right bye-bye. All right. Before we do bring up the next question, another one in regards to Aiden. This is something I've been wondering, especially with seeing some of the origin, more of the origin the comics of him. Uh, how would he... In- Sorry, I'm trying to re-click and remember how I was going to ask this question. Okay, that still has me curious of, like, what is happening to Aiden? Like, first he ends up getting uh, both Tangle and Whisper's eye um, pupils, and then later he grows Tangle's tails. Like, what exactly is happening to Aiden? Well, Aiden is taking aspects of his caretakers and applying them to himself. This goes for many aspects of him. His muzzle, his claws, his fangs, his eyes, even the shape of his ears. As to why this is happening, uh, well, that's yet to be discovered. Oh, now that just has me really excited to see more. I already got a glimpse of one of, like, one of the other pieces in your, like, you posted talking about the scar on him. Uh, Thank you for answering that one. Um, I was, I was going to ask if I could ask an, uh, I, 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 another question. Alright. Uh, inserting my Splatoon fan is you can't stop me. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so uh so 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 hi bro. Um your fa- do you have like a fa- favorite Splatoon idol group? Squid Sisters, off the hook, deep cut. Off the hook. To 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 to, to be honest, because to be honest, like, I kinda figured that. <laughs> yeah, that one should have been obvious. Probably obvious. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I, I kinda figured it would have been off the hook because like you drew Tangle and Whisper and they're as off the hook, so I was like, that should have been obvious. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, second, second Splatoon, Splatoon question. Uh, for, uh, second Splatoon, Splatoon weapon. What is your go-to weapon in, in Turf War? Uh, I don't remember many of the weapon names. It was either the paint roller or the dual. I believe it was the dual splat pistols. The, 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 the one that the, lets the, you dodge around. The splat duels? Splat duels. And, and you said you also... Um, um, uh, main the, the the paint like the uh, the the um the ink brush the ink brush. Mm-hmm. Hey, as a fe- as a fellow ink brush main, I approve. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, my third my third platoon r- 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 question. I am sorry, but when you say the word platoon, <laughs> you immediately get, you immediately get my attention. <laughs> uh, my third imme- immediate spl- my third platoon question. Um. Well, well, well. First, first, so first, first, let me ask you this, so you you can get the uh, the, so you, so you can get the context. Uh, have you uh, have you played and completed uh, Return of the Mammalians, which is the story mode of Splatoon Three? I have not. You haven't. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. I'm sure not to spoil anything, especially if I haven't gone through that yet. Please. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. So, uh, I'll scrap up the. I'll, I'll scrap. I'll scrap that question and replace it with this one. Um, have you had? Was there any Splatfest that you won? Any Splatfest you, uh, you your team won in? I believe it was the first two in in uh, Splatoon uh, three. Okay. Uh, okay. So you were on Team Rock and a uh, team. Uh, what What was the second one? G- gear grabbing fun. So you were on Team Rock and Team Gear. Okay. Got it. Uh. uh Alright, hopefully that answers your question there, Rockstar. Yeah, I, I think I think I think I think I'll I think I'll I think I think I think I'll put my inner Splatoon uh, Splatoon fanness to, to the side for now. Yes, no, well, while I'm dragging you away, I'm gonna grab that uh, era up here. <laughs> yeah, man. Anyway, hello, era. Hello, hello, Calvin. Hello, hello. Alrighty. What is your question? Say, well, I was going to say this. Well, outside of the outside of the Sonic Revolution, do you happen to uh, like Transformers? Transformers? Yes. I wouldn't say I have uh, much of an interest. More like a passive interest because I have seen uh, I have seen the recent movies. Uh, my favorite Transformer is Bumblebee. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But as far as being um having much of an interest i wouldn't say i have i don't really have that much to say all right then all right hmm? uh, 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 oh sorry i was gonna say all righty uh, go, uh, c- c- uh, carry on carry on okay what else oh was that was that um w- w- was that was um, that your question well i didn't ask something else out of uh what uh, do you think would, well another question what would your you can, what would hold you, on before you do like before you do that, yeah, you can say that for the next round. We can get it, let other people have a chance to ask their questions. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Thank you for your question, Calvin. Uh, All right. Uh, I, I, let's bring up. Mm, uh, 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 let's bring up Simi. Yeah, Simi. I, 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 I'm Chris. It was, it was my turn to choose. Was, I haven't even clicked yet. <laughs> bring up Simi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I was gonna, I, I was, I was gonna say, I was gonna be like, hold up, before you even think about it, it's my turn now. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, anyway, yes, as you, as you've mentioned, yes, let's, let's call up Simtarch, Simtarch, Simtarch. I forgot how to say it. Hi there. Hello. Hello, Hello. Simtarch. All right, so, all right, so Simtarch, uh, ¿cuál es tu pregunta? What? That's that, that's Spanish for what is your question? So while I'm not familiar with the person in question here, I would like to ask: aside from what you're known for, what would you say your favorite hobbies are? My favorite hobbies. Mm. I don't do much outside of art. It's basically all I've ever done. But aside from art, it would probably be. Um, well, video games. By that I mean less playing them and more looking at 
how they're designed, how the art direction is made, and how the music is created as well. Ooh, a fun hobby. Oh, of course, like Guilty Gear. Oh, that's a that is a very good art direction there. It is. I'm somewhat of a logo artist myself. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thank yeah, you for true. answering the question. Of course. All right, and thank you for your question, Simtarsh. Have a good rest of your day. All right, before we move on to Dino Kaiju's question, I had a question uh, what inspired, I'm about to post one of your art in the discussion chat. What inspired uh, this story? Like, I know this one was also called the imposter syndrome. What inspired this one, aside from the obvious uh, original one? Those would be the renegades. The renegades are, um, they're a collection of characters and adoptables that I did not use very much that I decided to base a story around. The renegades are, well, imposter syndrome uh, variants of the diamond cutters. Hush in the front would be for Whisper. Uh, Silhouette would be for the Shadow Joids that tore them apart. Springs is kind of just there. Um, Wesley, the monkey, he would be uh, the defaulted leader. Uh, Egg after Smithy. Ace would be uh, the the mimic of the group, just without being the mimic of the group. Um, And Pino, of course, would be Tangle, for the Tangle variant. Nice. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. And uh, um, me and myself, I I also uh, have 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 a question. Um, are you actually planning on t- planning on attending any Sonic conventions in, in the future? Uh, I'm uh, visiting uh, Revo this year. Ooh, so nah, we'll nah, get nah, to meet nah, you in person. Okay, nah, nice. We're, 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 we're looking forward to we're, we're looking forward to to um to um to seeing you there. Uh, okay. You guys heard it here. If you guys are attending the Son of Gravo in person, you'll get to see the hype and buddy there as well. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so make sure to stop by by his table. Um, okay, I actually have another question that isn't sp- that 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 is that isn't Splatoon related. Don't worry, Chris. Do not get out the bonk hammer. Uh, uh, do, 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 um, I'm curious. Uh, are 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 you into um are you into um Mario? Like Super Mario? Not really. Okay. That. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. No, 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 no worries with that. Um. All righty. Uh, Chris, do you want to call up Dino Kaiju? Yep. Let's get you up here, Dino Kaiju. Round two. I'm back what? again. Hello. Hello. Hello there. So, uh, so, 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 Dino, what's your second question? All right. Mi segunda pregunta. All right. Here we go. I mean, since wow. you speak Spanish, might I mean, since you speak Spanish, might as well. <laughs> no, 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 d- 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 not really, though. It's my Spanish. Teacher. It's my Spanish teacher. That's what it is. <laughs> anyway, uh, what anyway. you uh, been, what's your with? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> your second yeah, question. Sorry, sorry. All right. So, <clears throat> okay. So, okay. Um, one that I actually just remembered, actually. Um, so. Uh, I believe I, it was like in the earlier uh, last year, uh, I remember specifically like a type of story. Well, I don't know if it's still a story or all that stuff uh, that you made in your style of the arts. And it is about a, a different version of Tangle that is like a villain version of her. Can you tell us a little bit about her and how she came to be? I think uh, I know which one you're talking about. That would be Vengeance Tangle. She is a um, just an early experiment. Uh, for my own uh, writing capabilities. I actually made, uh, it's pretty old now, but I did make a Tumblr response after someone asked a question about her. Tangle wouldn't be, per se, a villain. She is uh, merely deranged. Oh, like an anti-heroine? Um, it's mostly due to, um, to the uh, machine that she placed on her uh, person, which... Um, it's basically just a dynamo cage, just different in the sense that it draws energy from the Chaos Emeralds and also makes you insane. Which I've seen mm-hmm. images of. Is there, a particular, you know, is there a particular reason why she'd be using this? I guess um, I can tell from the, like, she's wearing Whisper's mask and cloak. It's mostly out of, um, as I try to remember the story details, it's just, it's just uh, poor decision making after 
you assume it a death that whisper has befallen um that would make her uh take certain irrational choices which would lead to her um vengeance state oh dang uh, wow okay. that definitely explains That's the spirit of the uh, spirit like the whispered spirit i saw next year one of those other images wondered that yeah i yeah, I can definitely see it. Because I was about to say, because when I first saw the images of her specifically, it kind of reminded me a bit of what happened with Deku in My Hero Academia. Like, with his dark state and all that stuff, you know, with the, with the mask and everything, if you know what I mean. I mean, I don't know if you watch My Hero Academia, but I assume that's one of the inspirations. That was a direct inspiration. I knew it. Nice. You can see it in the old nice, art piece nice, that, nice, I made nice. that I took uh, the pose that... Um, Dark Deku uses while he's walking down the rainy alleyway. Oh my okay. god, yes, I figured that one. But yeah, that pretty much answers my question. Um, I'm just curious because I remember that that was like one of the first things I saw of your art and all that stuff. So that, that's in, in a way, it brings a little bit of memories in a way. Yeah. I haven't thought about her in a while. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. G.I. Joe <laughs> or Transformers. All righty. <laughs> Anyway, I'm heading off to the audience. You're up, Radar. See ya. Uh, 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 all right, all right, Dino. Gracias por su pregunta. <laughs> Thank you for your question. <laughs> all right. It was my turn. Whatever. <laughs> no, you didn't. You picked the last one. Remember? Wait, uh, no. Wait did I? D yes, you whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Hello, Radar. Please, what is your question? Please, you're both beautiful. Bonk. Anyway, Maybe, what's your question? That's debatable. Uh, anyway, go ahead, Radar. Uh, yo, hey guys, hi. Hello. Hello there. Hello, hi, bro. Hello. Not sure if you remember me. I gave you a, I gave you a commission that Adam gave to me. You, you wanted to use it for reference. It was a while ago. I am sorry. I do not seem to remember. Yeah, I figured it didn't. Apparently, you were looking to see how. Uh, it was a while ago. You were looking to see exactly like what Adam did with his sketch work, and I provided oh, a thing that I, remember. I got from him of my character and gave it to you to yes, use. Yes, I remember. It was during my studies while I was trying to get... It was before I saw his streams, or his mainstream. It was uh, before I saw any concrete way of how he sketched. So I was looking for any... Um, any uh, clues as to how he does it, what he does, why he does it, so on and so forth. I remember now. And the rest was history from there. In fact, how I found out about you was the commission that Adam worked on on li uh, uh, live of Tangle, Whisper, and Wesley. Uh, I remember that one uh, fake IDW cover he was making, and that's how I came across you my first ever commission from him <laughs> uh i will never forget that day and it's really an honor getting to actually you know talk with you uh since i've seen you a few times in other servers but getting to actually speak with you is pretty awesome you're you're aces of what you do it's very nice of you to say thank you right wait wait, 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 wait so i right or wait 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 wait, wait so what was that your question or you haven't gotten to it yet no i was just 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 formal greetings because i'm a fan of hype bro stuff just fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. All good. My, my actual question is actually in relation to something I tend... It, 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 it ranges from two questions that I normally ask other Sonic fans because I want to get to know them better. Uh, like, you know, other people in the community, I want to know what they're like when it comes to Sonic. So, uh, I will go with number one. And that is, what is your favorite Sonic location? What is your favorite place your favorite zone your favorite area on earth on sonic's world Ooh, that's a good one. Mm, i don't think uh would it be cliche to say uh seaside hill Ooh. 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 no not cliche at all just because i would have honestly said the same thing i have a whole childhood dedicated to seaside hill oh why is that um I can't really, there is, there's a memory at the very back of my head. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I just remember, um, having like, um, a memory of Seaside Hill 
Mm-hmm. And it was okay. did it, it was, possibly um, be in relation to Heroes or in relation to the All Star racing games? I believe it was racing that I was racing my brother, and um, he was uh, very good at the game. I was not. Uh, I I think it was that I lost um, like around six games in a row before we landed on Seaside Hills, and. Uh, and then I won that race. Um, so I guess it's uh, a fond memory of rubbing victory in my brother's face after six losses. <laughs> oh, you know yeah, uh, I was going to. Yeah, that's actually what. In, yeah, uh, the all star racing games are my favorite. The very first one is my nostalgia calling. I like transform not as much, but, you know, but. Yeah, the all star racing games, the seaside hill tracks. Uh, love Whale Lagoon, that one. Um, and seeing it again in Team Sonic Racing made me really happy. So yeah, honestly, yeah. Seaside Hill, not not. I haven't I haven't had anyone answer with that one before. So you're the first. So good on you. Nice. The more you know. <laughs> the more you know. In the words of Sonic. <laughs> right. Uh, Anywho. Uh, uh, all right. You said you you said you have a, a another question, Radar. Oh, well, I see that no hands are raised, but I didn't know if I if anyone wanted to. I mean, if you guys are going to allow me to have the time to answer my second question. By the, by the looks of it, there's no one else with their hand, hand raised. So I, I so, so I, I think we'll allow this. Yes. Yeah, if you guys say so. Well, then, if that is the case, I was going to say I had a backup question. I had a backup question in case things go. You know what? I'll just let things I'll just let things go as they are. Um, Yeah. My second question. Again, something I'd normally ask other Sonic fans to know what they're like. Um, your favorite Batnik. Tell me, out of Eggman's creations, what do you find fond of? Could be as something as simpler as the classic robots, the more main character-esque robots, like Metal Sonic or Omega and such, or something obscure. You know, anything at all. Um, I would say probably the Probably the T-Rex from the IDW comics. Oh, oh, the Egg Rex. Yes, from Bad Guys. Yes. Oh, I've and, never had anyone. Oh, that's a good choice for its only one issue appearance. Yeah, he went out like a chump. It was he lost the two bumbling skunks. I can't believe it. Wah, I can. wah, wah. Would you cut that out? <laughs> calm down, calm down. No, it was a reference, Chris. It was a reference. No, it was a reference. Uh, that was yeah, a, it, yeah. it was perfect. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, yeah, Dino Kaijo just brought it up. Uh, that, yeah, the Egg Rex, apparently, as it's um, referred, uh, I believe it was referred to that by Ian, and then uh, its designer, Aaron Hammerstrom, adopted the name. So that's what we've got to go off of. Yep, only showed up one issue, and I still hope it comes back later, because it is too cool of a design to not use. Like, just, oh my gosh, it's been quite a few years. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, honest, honestly, that is a great answer. I was not expecting that. Oh, okay. yeah. Re- yeah, respect, respect, yeah. honestly. And in fact, I I I seen I seen ne- never heard of the uh, of the egg, of the egg Rex. Ne- there never heard are of it. a lot of robots from IDW that people don't seem to remember, but that's why I exist because yeah. I am a nerd for these things. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, Radar. This is why you're amazing because you give out the best lore ever. I am not kidding. No, again, definitely hey, no. Hey, hey, hey. Let's let's not forget who the star of the show is here. That's I'm true, just providing, true, true. I'm just providing words. True, 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 true. But hey, it, it, it doesn't hurt to give out compliments on people, you know. I suppose so. Well, yeah. yeah. So. Um, is there anyone that's still wanting to ask a question? Because then I was going to bring up my backup. Because then I would have been done after that. I I I, I think I think. Oh, I, there we go. Rainbow. Oh, oh yeah. Now oh yeah. Can, yeah, yeah. There it is. Out. All right. So there is a text question before we do move on to Rainbow. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, Chris, uh, do you do, do, do you want it? Do you want to read it? Yep. Alrighty. From hang on, get it. 
From the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Guru, they ask, quick question, what music does Aiden like to listen to? Aiden is a very fond love of music. He is actually, um, before many of the events that happened uh, that I have yet to get to, he was an inspiring um, musician. He, he likes a variety of songs from, from metal to pop to mostly anything in between. Uh, his favorite would be something along the lines of, um, let's see, it would be around more like, uh, I guess it would be pop, I think, is the genre that I'm thinking of. It's a, it's a feel-good type that he often inspires to uh, listen to. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, but Okay, but before I call up someone, I actually have another question for, for, for you, Hyped. Uh, if you... If you if you if you went through art block, how how do you handle it? Um, I have gone through art block many times during my um, uh, quest to become better. Um, the way I handle it, um, there are a variety of ways. Sometimes I just um, I just doodle without any end goal in mind. Sometimes I take a step back and do something else so I can. Um, rejuvenate from it. Other times, I simply don't care and just keep going. I have adopted a um, a uh, I don't really care kind of attitude when it comes to something like that. It's a uh, it's a uh, like um, a screw it, a wee ball. I just keep going. It'll wear off eventually. I don't see any reason to stop. So I just keep trucking along. I respect that, actually. Mm-hmm. I respect that. I, 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 I respect that. Like, like I've actually, I never met him. I actually never met an artist who just, who actually doesn't care about, about art block. They just keep on going. So like, dude, like I, res- I respect that. Like that, like that, that is some ultimate confidence right there. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say it's confidence. I would more say I, spite myself and the perceived lack of talent that I uh, would think I would have in those moments. So I am fueled by rage. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. And also, uh, and also you lack of talent <laughs> as if <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> All right. Wait, 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 come again. Hmm? Oh, I just said there are many things to get better at. Yeah, that's why they yeah. say practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's that 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 that's true. Okay. That, 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 there's all there's all there's always there's always time to improve. Uh, already with that. All right, with my question out out the way, Rain Boom, come on up. Hello, Rain. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, hey, uh, hello, hey, Rain Boom. Hello. Also, hello there, the hype bro. It's good to see you. Hello. So, um, I do have a, a have an ask a question for you, the hype bro. Um, do you have any favorite piece of music from the Sonic franchise? You know, aside from Sonic Frontiers and uh, like every single soundtrack there is. Yeah. Um. um oh wait. <laughs> Sorry, I was couldn't even think of a better question, but that's okay. It's it, 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 it's okay. It, it's okay, mm-hmm. Rainbow. Take 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 these words from me. F- back then, when Kevin told me this, there is no such thing as a stupid question. Yeah. So anyway, um, do you have a favorite any any mu- music from any Sonic franchise at all? Mm-hmm. I would say that, of course, there are the classics such as. Um, I am all of me and live nice. and learn and such. So nice. those Ooh. are two that come to mind. There's also Fist Bump. That one was Ooh. also pretty good. Ooh. Escape from the City. Sonic X theme that I was actually very... Um, I, I really rocked with it when, <laughs> when I was younger. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, I really love the... Uh, down. Yeah. We got the ink. Good. Oh, 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 sorry. You go ahead, Chris. I was going to say, if you thought the English version of the Sonic X intro was good, you should check out the Japanese version. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's really amazing. It slaps. 
Yes, indeed. <laughs> and yes, they do have a Japanese version of the opening as well. Anyways, go ahead, Rain Boom. Well, I'm sorry, I forgot what I was going to say. You're fine, you're fine, you're okay. So yeah, I also highly recommend you to listen to the good music of Sonic CD as, as well as the Japanese one. Those were really good, though. Mm. I'll be sure to look them up afterwards. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Did that answer your question? Yes, and that will be answering my question. And so, <laughs> hope you have. Hope you are. Ah, oh, words. Um. Um. I wish you. Take, oh. take your time. Take your time. All right. So anyway, I was going to say like. Uh, uh, anyway, I from what I trying to say was, the high true uh, the uh, the the high. Uh, you can uh, simply call me hyped if that's any easier. Uh, all right. And so anyway, so also hyped. Hope you are you doing amazing, amazing art, and I hope you're doing awesome as as always. Thank you. It's very nice you're of you. Very welcome. To Aww. Huh. So anyway, hope you all have a good day on the rest of the panel, and hope you're all see it all later. Bye. All right. Take care, Rainbow. Later. later. All righty. Uh, and before we call up Radar to to answer his third. His third question. I actually have another another Splatoon related question for hype. Uh, okay, I, I want to see if you can answer this. Favorite song from each of the idol group. Favorite song from the Squid Sisters, Off the Hook, and Deep Cut. I do not know any. You don't? I do not know the names. I never really looked into them too much. I just know that they were there. And uh, they went along with the vibe. Right, that that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, okay, then. Do you have a, a, a favorite specific idol from the group? Mm, that'd either be between Pearl Marina and Big Man. Okay, uh, do, uh, I assume you don't have a favorite idol from the uh, from the from the Squid Sisters. Um, uh, not really. All right, that I, 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 all right. No worries. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Yeah, that that's pretty much my question. So, uh, all right, Chris. Go ahead. Let's bring your radar back up. I have returned. Hello. Welcome. He's back. <laughs> Thank you, Agent Stone. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we have fun here. Anywho, I have my third question. It's actually in regards uh, to the comic book. Just because I'm curious, um, aside from Adam's work, who else from IDW Sonic do you happen to like and be inspired by? Evan Stanley. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, why Evan, though? Aside from her, you know, being head head of the comic nowadays. Uh, it would be her painting style. Okay. Mm. I enjoy her Good color. Coach. Yes, her her very experimental painting style. Stuff that she used to advertise for uh, the Final Horizon and such. I'm assuming so. Mm-hmm. Oh, and issue 68. Her cover there. Yes. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I, th- I it's it's not some it's not something off it's why it's quite experimental with her. It's not something often you'd see in Sonic artworks, but I guess that's just what makes it cool. Yep. Anybody else uh, aside from yeah, Adam and Evan? Um it would be uh it would be Gigi. Oh. oh. Cool. Why why, uh, why is that? Gigi. Uh well, once again, for her colors and also for her um, general style when it comes to making a character, how she draws uh, her line art, her line uh, weight. That's also pretty cool uh, that I enjoy a lot. Their it's, color uh, looks, uh, yeah, no. Uh, I was going to say I agree, especially what with their their coloring in, ni- in the 900th Adventure comic. Uh, them and Evans like clashing together, and it's like, oh my gosh, it's like so vi- it's so vibrant, and it 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 does does it does feel um, a lot like you know uh, Gigi's um, you know the regular sketches and doodles that they post uh, and such. They have that coloring style. Um, yeah, no, honestly. Choosing Gigi is actually like the most surprising out of all the, uh, the three. That's cool. It's a very enjoyable style that she has. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, if I could stop cutting out, that would be great. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, what, what, what was, was that your question, Radar? Yeah, I guess I was just aiming for like a top three 
uh like idw sonic artist um but uh yeah i think that uh answers my question thanks guys thank you no problem. problem no problem have a nice day all right uh all righty then i i I, th- I think with that said and done uh i'll call up donald kaiju and then i'll ask my three final questions i think we can we can close off the panel that's if anyone else has a question that is no, I was just about to put in the text chat and hear about that. But yeah, let's bring up Dino. Yep. All I'll right. bring him up. Dino, come on up. All right. For my third and final question of the night. All right. So, I actually have my, my final question for tonight is going to be uh, this. So, obviously, giving your favorite characters are Tangle and Whisper, uh, I'm quite curious to know. Um, for even some of some of the characters that you drew, like Aiden, for example, um, do you have like any specific like voices that you envision a uh, Tangle, Whisper, and even Aiden? Quite curious to know if, if that would be the case. I uh, was asked this question a good while beforehand. Um, let me see if I can get them up again, because there were two voices that I had in mind. Um, one of them would be. Let's see here. For Tangle, it would be Sarah Nicole Rolls. Mm-hmm. And for Whisper, it would have been... Uh, let me see here. It would. It was Xanth Hewn. That's who I chose for Whisper. Oh, I see. So I, I can kind of see it because I think that's another thing too with uh, with Sarah uh, Nicole Rolls because of uh, her voice as Luce from, uh, from Owl House, which by the way, that is also a fantastic show. Mm-hmm. That you, that you, that you cut out a bit. Oh, I, I, oh, I cut out. Yeah, yeah, you cut out. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, so I was saying, I think that's a good choice for uh for Tangle uh, for Sarah Nicole Rob- Robles because um you know again because of her voice as Luz from Owl House. I did see that it was uh all about in um in the community at one point, which I tended to uh, I tend to uh I had a tendency to agree with. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Um. And and Aiden, does he have a voice that you had in mind for him? Um, none that I can possibly think of. There is a voice that I use for him in my head. I just um, don't know any voice actor that sounds similar. So he's that's fine. That's understandable. Very much a voice. I know when I, I know when I did the comic, you know, of Aiden versus Surge. Try to give him like a like an older teen with like a deep voice. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Huh. All righty, so, uh... Oh, sorry, I, I, I keep interrupting people. I'm so sorry. Oh, my no, gosh. No, 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 no. You go ahead. No, you, no, yeah. keep, you go ahead, Rock. I was going to ask, was that your question, Dino? <laughs> no, yeah, that, that's pretty much my answer. Yeah, that's pretty much my, the, that answers all. All righty, thank mm-hmm. you for your question. All right, and for that, I leave. See you again. Bye-bye. Hello. All right. Before mm-hmm. I ask my questions, uh, Chris, uh, do you, uh, do you have any questions for for hype? Uh, nope. All my uh, questions have been answered already. All righty then. I guess I'll uh, I'll ask my 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 uh my fi- my my uh my final three. Uh, so 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 my so my first question. Um, uh, um, ho- hold on. If I could just uh, okay. Is there an art piece that you see yourself making in the future that you haven't done yet? Um, I tend to get flashes of art pieces that I make in the future. Uh, I don't really recognize them as mine yet because of, um, artistic improvement and whatnot. Mm. But as for anything Makes specific, sense, yeah. there's nothing really specific I have in mind. They, uh, simply just pop up as the day goes on. I do have a list. I tend to write things down and I don't know where it is right now, though. Oh, no. Well, I, 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 I hope, I hope... I hope you find it. Uh, just uh, my advice: if you ever have ideas for art pieces and all, I suggest you put them in a document. Never write it down because there's a good chance you might lose it. All right. Okay. My my second question: in the future, do you ever would you ever consider of 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 a uh, ter- of making your of turning your arts into like two D animation? Animation is a prospect that I have thought about and looked into both um 2d and 3d which is why i'm learning blender it is an aspect that i would like to explore oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, you, oh, oh, you, 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 you're learning, learning Blender. Uh, um, I, I assume you haven't uh, tried Source Filmmaker. No. Okay. I already uh, gave me a few models for Blend and two models for Tango and Whispered. So I look forward to seeing what he has in store for it. I am. I, then I am. I am not very good, 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 good at Blender. So I'm just gonna say, as a as a fellow SFM animator, as talking to, talk to the guy who's starting with Blender, I'm impressed. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, uh, my uh, my my uh, my my third and fi- f- third and final final question: uh, Where can people find you and your work? Um, you can find me, of course, on Twitter at twittercom uh, uh, buddy hyped. You can also find me on Blue Sky, uh, the hype buddy B Sky Social. Also, is Tumblr, tumblr.com uh, slash blog slash the hyped buddy. I do have an Instagram. I have not uploaded uh, on it in a good while, so I will leave that out. Right. Oh, uh, uh, all right, all righty, and uh, oh, uh, for uh, oh, and for and for, and for and forget about me asking the uh, um on um, the final question. <laughs> Radar has another one. So, uh, all right. So, uh, Radar, come Radar on up. Radar will be the last one. Then. <laughs> yep, come on up, Radar. Mm-hmm. My apologies, fellas. After I had lunch, it is is apparently so that a uh, fourth question has popped in my subconscious. No worries, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but this one I figured, yeah, just a just a just a little fun little IDW thing. Um, just uh, just to ask, uh, uh, Hypro. Um, well, yeah, just to ask, what what exactly would be your favorite arc from the comic book series if you've read up to the latest issue? Um, it probably would be the metal virus arc. Mm. What? H- how did I figure yeah. you were going to say that? I mean, I didn't, but at the same time, I should have expected that. Pretty much, yeah, because like, because like, come on, the metal virus is the is like pretty much the the top arc of IDW. To be honest, you think of IDW, and that's the first thing that comes up, right? Right, right with all the stuff that happened in there, the PTSD, and then all of them had to suffer, especially Tingle and Whisper, uh, um, and including said, yeah, Cream as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with Cream being in her serious attitude, that 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 was scary. Yeah, that wouldn't hurt me. Uh, yeah, but well, I guess I should ask if if the Metal Virus Saga is your favorite from the book, what issue from that saga is your most favorite? Mm. It would probably be the uh, Supersonic issue. Supersonic and Super Silver. Ah, uh, issue 29. Uh, the finale. The <laughs> big hype moment. Right. Uh, mm. was, come on. I think we when all I agree. Saw- when I saw that, I was just worried that Sonic wouldn't have made it. Yeah. Super Silver for the win, guys. Super Silver, come on. Yeah, I, 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 I was like, this can't be the end of Sonic. Not like this. Exactly. Uh, so Sil- Silver came in clutch. We got to admit, Sil- Silver really did a lot to help. Give the guys some more love, folks. The naive, the, the naive boy saved the day. Not really that naive. Yeah, anyways. Hey, hey. I, 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 I mean, hey, I, 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 I'm, just, I'm just taking the words from Blaze. <laughs> He's got his moments. Yeah. Exactly. Well, then, on, I honestly, well, you know, I should, you know, I should have also expected the finale, but I guess, considering you, Hypro, I think I, I was expecting a different answer. If you, unfortunately, know what I mean when it comes to the metal virus. Uh, I think I know what you mean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say anything, but yeah, yeah. That was a that was a time for sure. Well, yeah. Well, again, broke my heart. <laughs> Hi, bro. Thank you so much. Honestly, really, really awesome getting to talk with you. And hopefully, I I, I wish to interact with you again. You seem very chill. Honestly, you are just dang. You can give Chris a run for his money. Wait, what? Thank you for coming along and asking questions. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Thank you, th- 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 thank you, Raider. Uh, wait, also, hype. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do, do you take commissions? Commissions are more of a spotty thing, but if I feel like I can do it or want to do it, then commissions are indeed a thing that I do sometimes. Okay, it makes sense. Perfectly fine. All right, with that said and done, I, I think we are... I, I, I think that's it for now. Yep.
All right, do, 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 all right. Uh, do, 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 do you want do you want to close this off, Chris, or do you, do you want me to do it? Yeah, I'll close it off. All right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's panel. Thank you, Rockstar, for being my co-host for this one. I'm honored. Thank you. No problem. And big thanks to Height Brew or Height Buddy for joining us for this panel. Hope you got fun, had fun getting to answer these questions. Thank Everyone you for inviting you. Yep, no problem. Everyone give Hi Bro a big round of applause. He definitely deserves this for all of his hard work on his on his artwork. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. And if you want to post your uh, your socials in the discussion chat, you can do so so they can check out more of your artwork. Yes. I do remember you said you had another comic coming up soon, so yeah, looking forward to it. And, uh, and 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 uh, tune in on Saturday on May 11th, where we'll have another Q and A panel. With uh, Scruffy Berry, co-hosted by MC Voices and Sonic Boone. At 12 p.m. my time and whatever time it is for you guys. T- 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 2 p.m. My- 2 p.m. Central Time. My time. Yep. Yep. So <laughs> uh, t- uh, t- <laughs> until then, from Eggman Revolution, that's a wrap. We'll catch you later. Yep.